Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know, I am. Well, I'm pretty knackered at the moment, but aside from that, I'm doing rather spiffingly indeed. <laughs> so today we're gonna to take a look at building speed. Um, so I'm gonna to talk to you about, give you some hints and tips and talk to you about the way that I approach building speed on the guitar. Uh, before we get that into that though, just a quick reminder, it's still 30% off all downloads from my website using the code RGSAVE30. Great way to support what I do. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get straight to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little video as I did at the start of this video, because that's going to be pretty much the subject of, of what we're going to talk about. Um, however, we're not going to do what I did, which is, uh, you know, speed bursts across six strings. We're just going to limit it to just a pair of strings so that you can, it basically condenses the movement, which is the problem area for most guitar players, is negotiating your way from one string to the next. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at, okay? So we're gonna break it down. To start with, we're just gonna take two notes here. So we're gonna take fret 12 of the B, fret 14 of the top E, okay. So whenever we um, play scales, whenever we cross strings, we usually do it in one of three ways. If you're an alternate picker, you'll do it in one of two ways. That is using inside and outside movement with a pick. Um, but I'm going to include economic movement uh, for, for those that do economy picking, which I, I do an awful lot. Uh, but I want to concentrate on those three movements when negotiating your way from one string to the next. Okay, so let's start with number one, outside movement. What exactly is that? So if we take these notes, if I start with a downstroke and then play, follow it with an upstroke on the B, so down, up, down, up. The pick is traveling outside of those two strings, the B and the E, okay? Okay, so that's outside movement. Inside, we start with an upstroke, which means the pick is traveling when we negotiate our, cell, our way from the B string to the top E, we're doing an upstroke to a downstroke, so the pick is moving inside the two strings. So the third is um, economic movement, so economy picking basically, where we go to the next string with the same stroke, down, 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 down. Self-explanatory this, the pick moves from the shortest distance possible from one string to the next, hence the term economy picking. Okay, so those are the three movements we're going to be dealing with. Okay, so let's start with, I'll give you a few tips in, in terms of what I practice. I generally use this to kind of warm up, warm my way into playing. Okay, so let's start with outside picking. So, just doing this on its own is great practice. Like I said before, we're condensing everything down to just the problem area, which is the string cross. Okay, with the, with the outside movement, and then we can do the same, obviously, with the inside movement. Okay, now what I like to do is do dotted rhythms, like this. So we're building the speed with the string cross, not necessarily the notes that we play on any given string. It's the, it's the speed with which we cross the string because that, uh, how, the, how fast we can negotiate that string cross really determines how fast we can play the scales. Okay, and we really want to control that movement as much as we possibly can. So doing dotted rhythms is great for that, for practicing that. Okay, inside. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. 
sorry, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, with the economy picking, it'll be down, down, up, up. The other thing that I want to point out, this is something that most guitarists are guilty of, is when we're working on ideas like this, especially with a picking hand, um, guitarists are guilty of looking anywhere but where they should be looking, which is what is going on with the right hand. So it's essential to have that visual reference whenever you're working on your picking, because it's very easy to start doing things in a completely different way or picking in a, in a different way with, you know, without you realizing it. So always train yourself to have that visual reference by looking at what you're doing at all times when you're practicing these ideas. Okay, uh, just taking that a step further, we could do three notes, down, up, down, in quick succession. And then the inside movement. Okay, so those are some of the ways that we can work on negotiating that. Um, once we've done that, we can take a simple um, pattern like this. So 12, 13, 15, and then the top E. So we play. Okay, do the same with inside. That was outside. Down, up, down, up. And concentrate on that string cross. It's a good idea to play this part slowly and then speed up the string cross. Down, up, down, up. Or conversely, up, down, up, down. Sorry. So we're getting, we're, we're playing the string cross with speed, okay? Um, so it really, really helps to do that. And like I said before, you do not want to be, you want to try and avoid wherever possible if you're not used to doing this playing six note per string scales and, and hoping that it will work because you will waste an, an inordinate amount of time doing it and making mistakes. So just going straight to the jugular here and dealing with it um, right to the heart of the problem will, will get you much, well it certainly got me better results quicker. So, um, and then you can you know, build, build the pattern. Because there comes a point where we do want to play the entire scale, of course. Um, but to start with, it's a good idea to work on these things individually. Then uh, it'll give you a, a fresher approach to playing the entire scale. Okay. So um, those are the things that I would I would work on, especially the dotted rhythms. You know, that's that, that's a great thing. The other thing, especially with doing this kind of thing, I, I use a technique called it's a practice technique called planting technique, where we place the pick on the string in preparation to play. It's a great way of training the right hand to make the minimum movement required. And this works for any of those three transitions when we're crossing from string to string. So inside, outside, <laughs> uh, economic movement. You know, it works. I mean, economy picking is exactly that, right? When we do a downstroke, the pick rests on the adjacent string. So it is planting technique. So. The other thing that I like to do is um, play four repetitions of outside and then switch to four of inside. Keep nice and relaxed when you're doing this. And try and make it sound like you can't hear the difference between changes. So those are the, some, some of the things that I like to, to use in order to practice building speed with scales. So like I said before, you know, incorporate this into your practice routine, but you know, certainly don't shy away from trying to play scales fast. We've got to attempt doing it up to speed, but one thing that you shouldn't do is, is you know, if you're finding yourself hitting a brick wall you know, every time and messing it up every time, it's really not a good idea to continue that. You know, come back to these kind of ideas, take it steady, you know, build that control and then go back to it. 
Anyway, I think this is the end of the lesson. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've talked about and more importantly, I hope it really helps you with your playing. Uh, I'm going to be discussing more approaches to, to building speed on the guitar because this is just one approach, you know, and like I said before, this is, you know, this is what I do. Um, players, there are, players approach it in lots of different ways, so this is just one way of approaching it out of many different ways. So anyway, like I said before, I hope you get a lot out of this lesson and um, stay tuned for the next one coming soon. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.